Get ready to pitch this one. Well, I got a Glenn Hubbard bat here and a Craig Nittles glove in my hand, so if I don't pitch well, maybe I could do something with the bat. It's got to be a great thrill for you. I know this uh, It's going to be fun, but it's also a bittersweet sort of thing, I suppose. Well, I hope it's fun. Um, I'm going to tr try and win like I always have. Uh, I think probably the nice thing about this particular ball game, Skip, is, is, is winning and losing is important. It always has been, but knowing that my last pitch in the big leagues, the last pitch I'm going to throw in my career, is going to be with Atlanta Brave Halon, and that's that's I can't think of a better, no kind of a better way than in my career with Atlanta Brave Halon. Don't know how to tell the people this, but even when you were in New York and Cleveland and Toronto, you were an Atlanta Brave, and you always will be. Good luck. Thank you, Skip. That's Phil Necro, and we'll be back with the game right after this. Time and they're on their feet again here in Atlanta. And if you've been around this place and you don't get goosebumps today, you better get well. There's Nancy, Phil's lovely wife. Everybody standing in Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. Boy, this is really something. The crowd is at least 30, I would guess. And Necro starts the warm-up tosses. In the other baseball, Montreal leads Philadelphia 1-0 after an inning and a half. Pittsburgh and New York scoreless after one and a half. The other action is later on. American League Toronto leading Detroit again one nothing after an inning. Doyle Alexander against Jack Clancy in that one. California got two in the first at Cleveland. All the other action later. New York at Baltimore. Kansas City at Minnesota. Boston at Milwaukee. Chicago plays at Oakland and Texas is at Seattle. So Necro gets ready to go to work. He says he's been working on that EFAS pitch he used to throw as an adjunct to his knuckleball which as you can see as he warms up is still <laughs> very difficult for Bruce Benedict to contend with and you just saw the Ephus pitch the throw goes to second we're ready to go Ed Milner will lead it off and leading off the play by play broadcast here once again Pete Van Weeren. OK thank you Skip it's going to be a lot of fun here this afternoon there you see the remarkable record of Phil Necro. 12th on the all-time list in wins, 7th on the all-time list in strikeouts, 3rd on the all-time list in games started, 10th on the all-time list in games pitched, 4th on the all-time list in innings pitched. Most of his career, of course, spent in the Braves organization. Two years with the Yankees, a little over a year with Cleveland, a little less than a month with the Toronto Blue Jays, and now he's back where he's always wanted to be. Wearing that number 35 and this may be the first time in the history of baseball that a number has been unretired to allow a player to come back and play in a ball game. They retired Phil Necro's uniform number a couple of years ago. Eddie Milner batting 240 four home runs 18 RBIs. We are underway as a called strike in the inside corner. And how's this for a touch of irony. Davis off first, Aldretti off second, Mitchell off third. Crowd wants to see the strikeout. The 0-2 pitch to Brindley. Gets away from Benedict, but not far enough for the runners to move up. One ball, two strikes. I was watching the monitor on that pitch. That thing exploded. That was about letter high, and all of a sudden, shot straight up. Here's another look at that pitch. Watch it take off. One ball, two strikes. And the one, two. Took off again high and inside. Two and two. The 2 2 on the way. Grounded toward third. Obert fell to second one. Hubbard on to first. Double play. He's out of the rest. It's like he's never left Atlanta. The Giants retired in the top of the third. We are still scoreless.
is back at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium carrying his thanks for the memories Nuxi sign. Brother Francis, who is a big fan of the Braves and has been for years, used to be out here all the time when Phil Necro pitched. It'll be Phil Necro leading off here in the bottom of the third. This is going to be the first time Phil's hit in a game since 1983. And to tell you all about it, here's Skip. Okay, Pete, thank you. And they're on their feet again in Atlanta. Pan was real. He wears number 35 for Atlanta. I throw. Uribe knew he had so much time. He lollipopped the ball over there. is amazing. Ernie's boy and a fine, fine sportscaster in his own right, Ernie Johnson Jr. walking through the stand. I wonder how old he was when he first saw Phil Necro pick. Low and inside, one ball, no strikes. Nixon waited to the last moment to wave in Ken Obergfell. The ball very sharply hit by Murphy. It gets Albert Hall home easily. When Aldredi bobbles it briefly out there, that's when Obergfell got the green light around third. So two runs are able to score. Stopping down at second is Gerald Perry. It's 2-0 Atlanta. Still only one man out. Gary Renicky the batter. And he lined to left his first time. There goes the runner. The throw is high. He's in there. And Murphy followed him up. That's uh, the second stolen base of the day for Gerald Perry. He now has 38, just one away from the Atlanta Braves record of 39 set by Brett Butler. And don't you don't blame Bob Brentley on that, boy. That was a tremendous jump by Perry. So another base hit could mean two more runs. I suppose they gave Murph two RBIs on the base hit. I never did hear an announcement. Pitch to Renicky. Swan, fly ball left field. Pretty well hit. That ball's got a chance. It's out of here. Home run. Five nothing Atlanta. Chance to save a guy with a victory. Mitchell is credited with his 66th RBI, but he's trotting out there, and he may leave it up to Necro here. Chuck has been quoted all week as saying this is Phil's day. Whatever 
That's is it. going to transpire on Sunday is going to transpire. He's going to make a pitching change here. I'll guarantee you, though, he asked Phil Necro first. And you are going to hear some ovation when Phil Necro leaves this mound. So Chuck Carey comes on. Don't take the booze personally, Chuck. It's got nothing to do with you. They're starting already. Now let's just sit back and you listen to this. They're on their feet. He gives them the ball. Now wait a minute. Harry Wendelstedt is being called in. Nancy and the boys look on. On the message board, they're playing a retrospective of Nancy's career. says goodbye to Harry Wendelstead who's umpired in his league for almost as long as Nuxie's pitch. Scoreboard is the story here as they keep throwing the excerpts of his career. thing the retrospective showed was a picture of the Hall of Fame. Phil 